High resolution color graphics. This land of high technology. The revolution in technology that made the information age possible. Those kids are not afraid of computers. Up to date news for out of date tech. Hello folks and welcome to This Week in Retro, not a normal episode. This is the second of two um, outtake shows to fill the gap while we're on a two-week break over the Christmas and New Year period. Hang on, we hang hope- on, hang on. Chris is giggling there next to you. We can't have an outtake in the intro to the outtake show already. What, Chris, <laughs> what is tickling you? I'm tickling because in, in this particular one, I know there's lots of me and yourself, Neil, um, bullying Dave for a change rather than, oh, me nice being, change. rather than me being the brunt of all the jokes. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what was yeah. tickling me. Yeah, uh, in this one you you will see us, um, you'll see Neil's terrible jokes that he likes to inflict on us, him bullying me and trying to throw me off using these jokes, which happens every single week. Um, <laughs> That's true. You will also see one of my favourite ones is a, a complete coincidence where we happen to be talking as straight face as we could be about a, a naturism event at a museum, and we went straight into a story about. Carmageddon, and the start line was talking about helmets. Um, so, <laughs> we we hope you'll enjoy. <laughs> we hope you enjoy this the second of our two outtakes, and um, we'll come back to you after you've watched them. You, you missed out your your sneezing fetish there, Dave. Is there any reason? Oh yeah, you yeah, you uh, yeah. He that. likes to yeah. sneeze. He does like a good. He sneeze. does like a good sneeze. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I thought I was going to sneeze then, but it went away, so we're all good. I had a sneezing fit this morning. It was wonderful. Wonderful? Is a sneezing fit ever wonderful? Oh, it was lovely. Okay. A dozen <laughs> sneezes. Great. Okay. I think Go I'm, on, do I think it. I'm good. I think I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Right. Now I'm getting itchy nose. Yeah, it's catching. It's like yawning. Totally catching sneezes. I don't think it is. I think I'm making it up. Um, okay. And, and yeah, just fit in with that original vision. It's fantastic. Um, I've lost my train of thought at the end. Was there enough pause there? Choo-choo. Maybe that is the end. It's fantastic. That'll do. You can cut it there. I sent a food parcel to my first wife, FedEx. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> Until the arrival of hard disks, games were mostly constructed. Because it's a delivery company, but I also fed my ex. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> right. I'll fall out my glass. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dave. Sorry, Duncan. <laughs> We, I, I worry that if we covered that story, there would be too many jokes about joystick waggling and uh, and too many yeah. cliches. Yeah. We wouldn't get through it. But yes. um, yeah, if that's your thing, I think it's nineteen pounds ninety nine for a ticket. Look up uh, the Naturist Retro Gaming Event at Cambridge Computer Cambridge Centre for Computing History. That's it. Okay, into this week's stories then. <laughs> Just looking at the first line. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I've just spotted it. Sorry, that took me a moment. We do need to go straight from that into hold on to your helmets. <laughs> oh dear. Oh god. Right. Okay. He's straight good. faces. He's Are we good. just gonna not acknowledge it and go straight into the Yes, yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna mute my microphone. Hold on to your helmets, everyone, because Carmageddon is being reverse engineered as Project Death Race, an attempt to convert 1990. Linus did also um, very kindly gave us permission to use images and and a scroll of his web blog, as well as footage from his video. It would be tempting to put some of the um, Amazing Grace in in into this edit but i'd rather just send traffic to his video so please do check out his blog and his video as well and 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 hear the tones of of sid being played as a theremin it's really cool to watch yeah it's really cool 
Yeah, I think I did it there. Yeah, I went off. Just screen look, and don't, the stand. Don't over. <laughs> yes, it's really very cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really very cool to watch. <laughs> yeah, that was ended. I think that's ended clean enough. It, it, it adapted well, Windows NT, to also to different CPU architectures. We've spoken on the show before about um, how I, I mentioned I used Windows NT um, back on, oh, what, what was the processor I was using? Um, Craig, I, I can't remember now, John. <laughs> We're going to have to cut this bit. What was it? I can't help you with this deck, one. Deck, <laughs> deck, yes. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, we spoke before on the show yeah, I mentioned before on the show how I used Windows NT on, on digital, on deck machines back in the 90s. Okay, John, it's time for some mini news now. Sorry, Neil. <laughs> I was not prepared. Was you were just prepared. daydreaming there, just staring at <laughs> just... I thought, have I dropped my connection? <laughs> what happened to John? <laughs> Sorry, Duncan. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I mean that that's missing, but uh, you know the the only other thing that that leaves me scratching my head about this collection is <laughs> sorry, I'm... blind. I missed my cue. <laughs> yeah, that, no. that, that, that's the that. <laughs> I thought we'd gone past that when we went into DX. I thought, oh, he skipped. That. No, no, no. Well, it was because I forgot. I forgot that this was how I was setting this up, and I thought that I just didn't complete the sentence, and so I had to think fast about what I did. So let's just pretend like this never happened, and I'll I'll, I'll set you up again, Neil. Here we go. The only thing that leaves me scratching my oh, I should probably leave more of a pause. Sorry, Duncan. Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> Well, hello, everyone, and a, a happy new year. It's been a couple of weeks now since since the new year. Christmas feels like a, a fever dream already, and we're well into the new year. And there's no disguise in that there's something a little bit different about this new This Week in Retro this year. I'm going to start that again. It's not a new This Week in Retro. Hang on. I haven't warmed up yet. Have you done your lip exercises now? I haven't. Oh, that's what I got. <laughs> that's, it. that's the one. <laughs> Oh, God, that's going to be in the outtakes now. <laughs> Take you dare, Duncan. Okay. <clears throat> Hello and a happy new year to you all. There is, of course, no disguising that there's something a little bit different about the intro to the show this year. No, it hasn't turned... <sighs> Now, <laughs> <laughs> I need my coffee. Come on. You dial in 888 on your TV remote control. And then your program would come back and you just have the subtitles appearing along the bottom. They must have had similar systems in other countries, um, John, but I wasn't well-traveled enough when Teletext and Zfax was a thing to know. Um, Start again. You just called me John. Oh, good <laughs> God. <laughs> had to happen sooner or later. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> One for the outtakes. <laughs> yeah, that's all good. Do you recall reading Cfax on your TV, Neil, or even Oracle, its evil twin brother? Yes, absolutely. Of course I did. Uh, CFAX, Oracle, Teletext, I think it later became known as, um, Oracle at least did. Yeah, a, a daily, daily user of that, John. Uh, uh, <laughs> nearly called you John. Chris, <laughs> Chris, daily user of that, Chris. It was going to happen. Carry on. Let's pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> it didn't happen. We'll just carry on, John. We're just carrying on. Yes, please. Yeah, sorry, We're Chris. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, you've really got me today. Oh right. no, I'm not. I didn't do that on purpose. Didn't? Did you not? I thought maybe you no, said it on no, purpose. No, that no, no, I didn't do that on purpose. No. That is oh, hilarious. I've just got it stuck I'm putting on an now. American accent. Did you guys hear the dog barking? No, I didn't hear it. Johnny likes to go up in the window and annoy the dog next door. <laughs> he just sits there and looks at her and the dog goes mental and then Johnny just sits and waits until the dog exhausts herself and then goes back in. Beautiful. He was that's doing a, that while that's I was a good going cat. Was, That's catting done right. I had to right. get some treats out. Yeah, <laughs> I had to get some treats out to get him back in. Nice. Can you believe MAME, the multiple arcade machine emulator, is 25 years old? Launched on February the 5th, 1997, it now supports over 7,000 unique games. Starting out life as a multi-Pac-Man game emulator to preserve that series particularly. Um, oh, sake now, it's too early. It's Chris, he's made a start too early. Jesus. <laughs> it's not normally this bad, Dave. I thought you were a professional. <clears throat> I know, we've got an audience. You're making me, uh, making me nervous. Okay. Right. 
Get your lips together now. Get your teeth in. Here Duncan, I'm sorry about Neil. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get fired. You either need very deep pockets for that. We're talking, you know, premiership footballer here. Um, uh, NBA player, NFL. What, what would you need to be down in, in Australia? Rug- All Blacks uh, you, rugby player? No, no, that's New Zealand. No, don't, don't put that in, Duncan. I've completely <laughs> mixed up Australia and New Zealand. Not going to make any friends whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> so, as soon as the words came out of my mouth, I knew I'd said it. <laughs> Chris, have you had the pleasure of touching Trevor yet? <laughs> oh, he's not there. Hello, Chris. I'm here. Have you had the pleasure of touching Trevor yet? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> God. Well, that didn't work, did sorry. it? Sorry. Going out and coming back in again. Okay. <laughs> We're just reading the news. Reading the news. Very serious, sad story on the news. Okay. Hmm. Well, I've not had... Maybe I'm going to need to get rid of that first line. <laughs> okay, here we go. Well, I've not had the pleasure of touching Trevor yet, but I understand the concept. I think <laughs> it was it was quite nice when um, uh, John did the intro line. So maybe we, maybe when we have guests, the guests should do the intro line. Definitely, we've, so, we've, we've always done that. So Alex, Alex has to do it. Maybe just hello, Arcadians. Yeah, it's law now. <laughs> yeah, hello Arcadians. Hello Arcadians. His best EastEnders accent. EastEnders? <laughs> you calling me a cockney? <laughs> oh God! I'm so south. I think Duncan liver. should do the. Do the dun, 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 dun. <laughs> You're not my mother. Rekai, Rekai, Pat, Rekai. But um, if you can set something like this up on your workbench over days or even weeks and just methodically come back to it, add some more components here, build it up slowly until the moment of truth, that first power on test. When it works, it's a superb feeling. It uh, it really is great. It's 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 like my favourite Legos kit, Dave. Yeah, I get that. Get that. Or like a big jigsaw. Now, um, this all taps bait, into some... He's, he's not taking the bait. He's not taking Leg- the bait. He's I not saw it, it. I saw it. I, I, I'll do it again. Legos. It, Legos. Yes. Legos. What's wrong with Legos? Is that not what it's called? L-E-G-O. <laughs> Lego is the singular word. And then Legos is a plural. L-E-G-O-E apostrophe S. So is a kit the a, a Lego? Legos. Legos kit. Mm. It belonging to Lego. Yes. If you've got an apostrophe yes. there. Kit. Okay. That's cool. A Lego. I'm glad we had this discussion. <laughs> Good chap. Okay, carry on, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for cutting this bit out, Duncan. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Aaron. You, you've never seen behind the scenes here with Neil, but this is what he does every week. Oh, he just that. sabotages Listen, the whole thing, and it, I talk to Duncan Neil's has to cut it out all the time, so I know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, community question. Okay. <clears throat> It's time for our festive community question of the week. Now, last week, oh, there's somebody at the door. I tell you there's what, somebody at the seconds. door. There's, there's somebody, somebody at the door. door. <laughs> <laughs> somebody at the door. Oh, don't let him in. Don't let him in. <laughs> oh, no. What was that? That was, um, oh, that was Emu, wasn't it? Emu and Rod. Yeah, grot bags. Yeah, that's right. Oh, dear. Why do these things stick in my head or well, our heads? Why? Are they, what are they doing there? <laughs> well, it was nice to see in some of those uh, boat. So obviously some of these outtakes go back quite a long way. I think it's the first time we've done outtakes. So nice to see some of those old clips when I was recording back in the cave as well and see a boat there. Um, yeah, we don't get any better, do we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> If anything, I think we get worse at trying to wind each other up during the show, which makes Duncan's life hell. But, um, it's good fun. He for always us. maintains he doesn't hate us. 
I, I always <laughs> I always feel sorry for Duncan while we're having fun. He's sitting there thinking, how much longer of this do I have to go through? And he never complains. He never moans about it. He never criticizes us for wasting his time. I don't know if he hates us for it or not, but he, he always says he doesn't. So thank you, Duncan, for yeah, being with you, us. Thank you, Duncan. Yeah. And I'm I'm happy now that the the, the outtake tank is empty. There, there, there should be no more to come. No more embarrassing clips oh, no. to come. No, never I'm not again. sure. It's, I'm not sure it's empty, Neil. I'm not sure. It's the the truth time. is that Duncan prepared these clips a few weeks ago, so he's probably already got some more already. Um, <laughs> But before we go, I should point out we are sponsored, thank you very much, to Pixel Addict. And there are no outtakes for Pixel Addict. Every single page is professionally prepared. It's a monthly magazine you can get at the, what's the URL? I don't want to put Johnny down. Pixel.addict.media. So we will be back with you next week. Don't forget to submit stories to the subreddit because now's the time where we'll be starting to look for our stories for next week. Um, Hello, Johnny. <laughs> Johnny looks terrified. <laughs> You're right. Fine. He's going he's gonna to bust me now. <laughs> Excellent. Good. Professional cool. to the end. <laughs> is, is that it? Okay. Bye, everyone. See you next Bye, week. Bye, everyone. For a normal show where we'll actually yes. be prepared. Um, we, we hope your hangovers aren't too bad from your New Year's Eve parties. And um, oh, Chris is working hard on his. He's been drinking, you know. Non-stop. He's still wearing the same shirt. Solidly. Since the, since the Christmas episode. show. Just solidly. Just non-stop drinking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll see you next week, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 <laughs>